Somebody needs to explain to me, why is the rank six mid lane on EUS one of the best servers in the world? In any one trick, literally any one trick, 240 any games, 60% win rate. His second most champion is Twisted Fate with only nine games played. What does this guy do differently to everybody else today? I'm going to jump onto the Rift, investigate one of his games, see what he does differently, how we can copy this guy and utilize it in our own games. Just quickly, boys, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I think 74% of you guys that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you want to see more of my content on your feed, feel free. I'd really appreciate it. Jumping onto the Rift now, guys, the Rune page. It's a very simple Electrocute setup. You're also running Flash Ignite. Copy this down and you'll have no problems playing any. Um, so essentially this guy, from what I can tell, he has a very strong laning phase. He has very strong positioning, fundamentals, mechanics. Everything's all there. See, the thing about any is most players pick any when they're like auto-filled or they don't really know what's going on in mid lane. Um, they just want a quick result. This guy is actually a very talented mid laner on top of mastering any. And it's kind of just all worked together for him. Um, and he's just dominating the EUS ladder. He doesn't do any cheesy roams. He doesn't do a coin flip strategy. He plays a nice solid laning phase, beating out most mid lanes. He plays team fights exceptionally well. His engages are on point. And he comes away with a lot of wins with high KDAs. Now you can see in this matchup, he is just utilizing his auto range. Every single time you see this guy in auto range, he's throwing it out. It doesn't look like much on one auto, but it adds up. You shouldn't be allowing the enemy mid laner to breathe. You want to suffocate them, okay? Every time they move up in your range for a CS, a last hit, you want to be weaving in an auto and then a Q as often as possible. If you can, now this is a little bit mean, spam laugh, spam emotes, spam mastery score anything you can to tilt your opponent because there's essentially nothing they, they can do and that might trigger them into going for a stupid trade you get a positive trade um if they run cleanse maybe you can pop that um but you can see this yone didn't run cleanse which means it's a free stun if any wants she can flash stun at any point of the game and yone can't move that means follow up from the heck room if you want to try and buddy up if you have friends that you can duo with i have friends i'm challenger so there's no duo but if i did have friends Sorry, if I wasn't challenger in lower elos, um, I would duo with like a Leona main or something, man. I would set up with some another CC follow-up champion, and we would just run a train on every team fight at objectives and take over the game. So if you guys do have that buddy, definitely try that out in solo queue if you can, especially if the enemy mid laner doesn't run cleanse. And you can see, do you see the little swirly thing around Eni's body? That essentially means the next spell will stun. It's a very simple mechanic, and you can see she gets that, and then she moves up on the minions as they're getting low health and zones them. It's essentially like, it's kind of similar to like when I play Twisted Fate and I cycle my cards and every gold card I move up and then I move back. Enemy mid laner thinks, am I getting ganked? What's happening? Can I move up for the CS? I'm just going to give it for now. And you can see he's already building up a CS advantage for himself. And guys, I'm telling you, like this is literally Challenger EU West. In your lower elo games, the play, like, players are quite silly let's say silly um and a lot of time they'll just move up for a creep for no reason and you'll just bonk them weave your autos flash ignite you get a kill i guarantee you it's that easy okay don't overthink things this is supposed to be very simple last hit the creeps with your q for the resets and we're going to get a max onto the q i genuinely think guys if you spam any and if you spam Ari at the moment and you follow my, my recent videos on these champions, you will climb. I don't see how you can't climb. They're such simple champions at the moment. You can climb all the way up to challenge with them if you're good enough. There's nothing holding you back. Stop trying to play Akali. Stop trying to play Yasuo, Zed, Yone, Kiana. I mean, sure, if you want to have fun. But if you want to climb and you want to impress all your friends and get hot chicks that love ELO, man... Play some Annie, play some Ari. Go and play your fun champions in normals or on a smurf, okay? And he now... As a slight freeze, it's gonna, un it's, it's gonna break. I would opt for a hard shove here into a reset. Moving in, Yone. Level 6 on the Annie now. Very low mana, but you can see when you kill a minion with your Q, you get the mana back. And we should go for the reset now. 49 to 31 CS in the mid lane. 
As ooh, look at everyone trying to look at everyone trying to kill the Annie. You saw the Jana trying to um help hard shove the lane earlier. Echo ganks the lane. And look, Annie just farm, farm, farm. You're fine. As Yone moves in, pops the ultimate, instantly gets stunned underneath the tower. Perfect reactions. And that's what I mean. Don't run cleanse, you die. Absolute ego player by this Yone. Typical. This is a typical Yone player. Ooh, I'm Yone. I'll kill any. Any's for diamond players that have no hands. No, dickhead. If you play any perfectly with quick mechanics like that, you're going to have a, a really big problem trying to deal with this champ. And she will shove this in. 10 CS per minute almost, and we'll get a tremendous back. Sitting on 25, 2k gold flat, 2500 total. Lost chapter, boots. Dark seal, health pot. What a combo. And Tibbers is a very short cooldown. Very short cooldown. I think Tibbers cooldown needs to be increased. You'll see her. She's only one minute off, I believe. Using the E. The E gives you movement speed, remember, guys, to get these hard engages off. And I love seeing these people play these champions and excel. Recently saw a Malzahar uh, one trick on EUS hit 1k LP as well. These are essentially champions that everyone wrote off in high elo because they said these are lower elo champions that can be countered with cleanse or QSS. Mid lane mages like Orianna, um, like Syndra, are just too strong. You can't play any. But at the end of the day, solo Q is not competitive. And they really excel at just abusing matchups like this because you're not versing mages every game. Um, and the Orianna matchup or the Syndra matchup or whatever, the, the mid lane... The mid-range control mage matchups, they're dealable if you play a good any. As you can see, the Yone is really not allowed to play the game anymore. Moving in, Tibbers is almost up by the way. Look at that, Tibbers is already up. And she is ready to look for it. Unfortunately, she's getting ganked because so she bails. But in your lower early games, guys, just every time your ultimate's up, get a stun and just move up an ult. Trust me, they'll disrespect it. And then, if you don't get the flash, they're gonna die. And if you get the summoners, next time your ultimate's up, they're gonna die. It's so goddamn simple, guys, okay? As you look for him to get a roam, he gets one assist. He'll come back into the mid lane wave, eat it up. So satisfying, this champ. 80 CS at 8 minutes. Maybe LS was right all along. Moving in. We have Flash. We're level 9. I want to see... I want to see a Flash R. See, the Yone has Flash as well, so it's kind of risky. Moving in. Oh, just missed the stun. Did you see she E'd to get... To, she E'd so that the Tibbers would stun, but the Tibbers just missed. And that is really unfortunate. Would have been a kill if it landed. As we pop the ignite. We weave the long range autos. And once again, Yone disrespecting the Annie. Gets Tibbers to move in there. And they get the plate. And they get out. How? Man, am I really about to go and play Annie in Challenger? God damn it. God damn it. As we go back with 1.5k gold. I reckon Sork Shoes are the move here. Let's see. Oh, we go Kindle Gem. We go for a little bit of cooldown reduction, a little bit of health. More of a defensive setup. But I respect it. Oh, he gets the Sorks as well. Happy bloody days, Drew. 93 CS at 10 minutes. Now, this guy's builds, I've noticed. I went through his builds. He does some Everfrost games. More into the short-range matchups like the Yone, like the Yasuo. He does some um, Rocket Belt games into things like Azir. Things like Syndra, where they're long range and you have to use movement speed to gap close. Um, and that's pretty much it. They're your, they're your two setups. Then, obviously, you have situational items like Hourglass. Like Banshees. You should never have a static build. You should never have the same build every single game. Every League of Legends game is different. 
you're essentially never getting the same game over and over and over again with the exact same champion setups. Um, so your builds always need to be changing if you want the highest possible win rate. Now she's looking for a roam. She has no flash. Tibbers is up. And let's see if she's able to salvage this bot lane fight. Enemy team has actually just a gold lead. Just a small gold lead, I think. Yep. And she'll come in here. Tibbers for the echo. Grabs the blue buff. Jana flashes. Oh, and Yone ignites. Pops the ultimate. Any look at look at the Tibbers. Look at the Tibbers. Stuns up. And this guy has such... He uses Tibbers so well to zone and to tank. And I think that definitely separates the good Ennies from the bad. Is just utilizing the Tibbers carefully. Now be very cautious if you versus Syndra and you're low health. Okay? She can grab Tibbers with the W. Put it the opposite direction. And the Tibbers will land on top of you and deal damage. Okay? I've killed someone like that. As this Ezreal... Literally just disrespects the Annie. She's just piss chilling with the Tibbers with, with literally 10 CS per minute. And we are just completely dominating the game. It's weird, man. You get to high elo and players are like, eh, it's any. It's, it's, it's just, it's just a, you know, it's LS's champion. It's a funny champ for players who can't play the game. So when you're actually talented at mid lane and at any, the enemy is going to be in a, for a rude awakening when you're able to actually move and press abilities like a normal human. You understand? They're going to be very surprised. And you can see she is not done. She's moving in. I highly doubt she can get two towers. No flash. So confident in the side lane here. So we max Q followed by W. I think at level 5... On your W, you're going to be wave clearing so easily. As Tibbers is already back up. Man, what the hell is this cooldown, dude? Dude, Tibbers ultimate. That's just stupid. She wanders in, picks up a kill into the Jhana. I think Fizz and any ult, a little bit too low. Grabs another kill. And we're just wandering around the map. Any... Really not lost in the woods at all. She knows where she's going. And she finna be 6-0. 10 stacks on the Dark Seal. Wouldn't be surprised if it's a Magi's purchase. And the best thing about Tibbers is it lasts. You don't have to feel so lonely. We'll head back to base now. Short range matchup. Should be an Everfrost. Definitely will be. Has the Kindle Gem. Grabs the Everfrost. Magi's? Nice! A Magi's Soul Stealer, baby. Now, Magi's passive, we know. 10 stacks. It's starting to give you movement speed. Now, second item for this guy. He likes to go when he's snowballing. Cosmic Drive. Cosmic Drive now gives base movement speed bonus. So, just imagine how fast he's going to be. So, you see an enemy off the... You see an enemy... In the corner of your eye, she's so fast, she doesn't even have to blow a flash. She just presses E, runs into you, and one-shots you. Tibbs is ready to go. She's going to try and buff her a stun, I reckon. Blue trinket purchased, by the way. Pops the Tibbers, two-man stun into the Everfrost. They're not able to move and just completely eats them alive. 18-0. It, like like it looks like a dime. It looks like a silver game, bro. Like, it just... Just because it's any, it just looks too easy. It's like, really, guys? You're getting outplayed by any? Yep. It's so frustrating when I lose to an any. Seriously, whenever I lose to an any... There's a couple any mains on Oris and I lose to it. I just think to myself, like, really, dude? You really just lost to this champion? Like, are you, are you, didn't, you are so pathetic. But actually, there's no shame in losing to this champion. It's strong, I think. That's flash up. I don't think you'd want to blow a flash just for the Janna though. Everfrost Q. Oh my god. 
But we do get stunned up. Everything lands. He blows the flash, but the Yone gets the huge shutdown. And that's going to make the game a little bit more interesting. The Magi's Curse. Whenever you buy Magi's, you're probably going to die when you come out of base. I don't know why, but that's my curse. I was born with it. I just don't buy Magi's, and there's no curse. Jokes on you, witch. We do remember, Jensen was spamming the champion a while ago on NA solo queue, and I thought maybe it's just an NA thing. He never pulled it out in pro play, which I was quite sad about. But no, it's starting to pick up a little bit of hype in EU as well. And you see that W wave clear now is just exceptional. How ah, easy. Fresh Lantern. Are we going to take it? Yoink. Moving in. Looking for the Echo now. Stuns up. Fresh Hook lands. Everfrost. WQ. Thank you very much. Everfrost into... Like, oh my god. This champion. Too much CC. Too much damage. It's too basic. It's too easy to play for the results and the damage it has. But yeah, guys, I guarantee you play any and you spam any and Ari and you do these Everfrost setups, I guarantee you, you're going to get good results. Play a little bit like a KDA whore. You, you're not really... You're just trying to facilitate your team and set them up. If you get the kills, go for it. Get a Magi. Just play a little bit safe and think about your positioning. You'll end up so better off than if you were maining those um really high mechanical champions you were before. It only takes 5 or 10 games of both champs to really understand the basics. No flash. Moving in now. Tibiz is available. Looking to try and get a flank. Q lands onto the Echo. She's moving in. Into the Everfrost. Into the ultimate. That's just sad to watch. Being able to pick up the Viego. She's going to let Tibbers. Look at that. Do you see how she lets Tibbers tank the tower? Thank you, Tibbers. Moving in, grabs her 11th, looking for the 12th kill of the game. Ekram. Ooh, does he int? Alright, we got to leg it. Run, 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 run. Donna flashes? Did she think she was going to... Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Then he will hit the base up now. 3k gold in the pocket. Should be a cosmic drive pickup. Cosmic drive purchased. And then next item will be a death cap into probably a void stuff. Just full damage setup. How easy. No defensive items needed this game. If you were into like a more fed Yone or a Zed or something, like Shaw and Hourglass, maybe like a Kiana or a Talon. Hourglass, or if you're into something like a, let's say, a Twisted Fade, or like an Aurelian Soul, a Banshees would help you out. Or Blitzcrank. One item I don't see built enough against... Whenever the enemy picks Blitzcrank and low elo, he just gets hooks over and over. Build either an Edge of Night or a Banshee's Veil against this champion, and he'll never be able to hook you. How good is that? You gotta save your flash. As we move in now, no flash available. Everfrost doesn't land. Ezreal dies before it. And she'll go real deep looking for this flank. Moving in. Hunting, 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 hunting. Ultimate straight onto the Viego's head. And they can move into the base with the Tibbers tanking. Let's go. I'm going to try and drop the inhibitor. 22 stacks on the Magi's. I want to see 25 before the game's over. And it looks like they're pinging towards the Baron. Ooh. Echo just gets his base off. Oh, 
Where's Tibbers? I always think Tibbers' ultimate cooldown is back up, but he's just wandering around. Flash is available. You don't have to flash R, by the way, guys. You can just flash W. Or you can even flash Q if you have if they have no cleanse. Then you just gap close into the Everfrost and lay your entire goddamn combo in their face. I mean, oh my god. 25 stacks on the Dark Seal, moving in for a triple kill. One more for a quad drop. There we go. And any. How simple, guys. 10 CS per minute. Beautiful endgame. That's going to cap it off. Thank you all for watching.